Today's gospel picks up from last Sunday, where Jesus and the disciples are returning to Capernaum and stay in a house, which is most likely Peter's house. And the message that the disciples heard was, if anyone wishes to be first, they must be servant of all. So they get back to the house, and in there, they Jesus asked the disciples a question, what were you discussing on the way home? And they fell silent because they were arguing about who was important along the way. Now, they just heard a message about what it means to be a servant, is to be a servant of all. And not, it's not about yourself and not about being important, but about being one of service. So then Jesus sits them down, calls the 12, and then says, if anyone wishes to rank first, you must be the last and servant. Let me remind you again what I've been preaching over the past journey. Then Jesus takes a little child and stands that child in their midst and puts his arm around the child and says, whoever welcomes a child such as this for my sake welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Now, children, when we have an Im image of children saying, oh, they're so sweet, they're so beautiful, they're so cute, as in current culture today. At the time of Jesus, children did not have legal status at all. They were considered property. They were treated similarly to dogs. You know, it's like they, they were meant to work and replace adults as they got older. Jesus takes a child who's probably not well cared for, well bathed, very poor and places them in front of them and says look at this to the disciples to welcome those who are outcast those who are not considered property those who have no legal status those who cannot pay you back if you can serve them freely with love that is what it means to be a disciple love with no conditions and a way of it's not being about important about who you are, but serving others in love. We call that servant leadership in modern words. Jesus challenged the disciples then about paying attention to how you serve. And this week, let us pay attention to how we serve one another. And do we have expectations? Do we argue over minor details about who's important, who deserves of service? How does it affect me and my family? How does, how, what benefit do I gain from serving other people? All other, what does it mean to be a servant and being willing to serve without those expectations, but to reach out in love, unconditional love, because according to Jesus today, the greatest with God is to be one of service to all people. Let us pay attention to how we can be Christ-like in our acts of love and service in our part of the world. How do we care for ones who have no legal status, who cannot pay us back, who are treated inhumanely, how can we serve others freely with love to welcome the child as God welcomes the child? Let us love one another and be service to all. Amen.